The streets are throbbing, the crowds are thronging. What began in the 1960s as a celebration by London's Afro-Caribbean community has grown into Europe's biggest street festival and extends well beyond its cultural roots. I like that you get to come together and listen to music. Yeah. It brings joy to the community, it brings everyone together on these two days. Yeah. So tell me, is this your first carnival? Yeah, it's my first carnival. And what do you think of it? It's great. This year there was even greater anticipation because COVID had forced the cancellation of the two previous carnivals. For the first time, the entire event is being broadcast on the official website. There's a lot of love today, there's a lot of love. Big up, big up, big up. That takes Notting Hill to a worldwide audience, which is apt as it takes its inspiration from global cultures. It's the best feeling in the world. It feels like Christmas has been cancelled and now we're getting back out there and I think everybody's ready to throw down. It's been a tough few years and you need to party to make yourself feel better. The Grenfell fire disaster just a few streets away continues to cast its shadow five years later. The parade was led by runners who still campaign for the victims. We want to remember the 72 that lost their lives and justice hasn't been done yet so we want justice! <laughs> A gathering on this scale demands a police presence, low-key if possible. And for everyone attending, it's a huge celebration, if a little loud for some. Ian Woods, ITV News.